Software Spring Presence How to use SLN in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to the tutorial on the SLN function. Here is an introduction to SLN. SLN stands for straight line. SLN uses the straight line method to calculate the depreciation of an asset. SLN returns the depreciation amount of an asset for a single period. The depreciation amount is the same for each year of the life of the asset. Okay, it's time to look at the format of the SLN function. Here's an example. Cost is the cost of the asset. Salvage is the value of the asset at the end of the asset's life. Life is the periods over which the asset depreciates. Moving forward, here is an objective for using the SLN function. To calculate the depreciation amount of a printer, whose cost is rupees 10,000, salvage value rupees 2,000, and useful life 7 years. Alright, let's create the data table. Let's create another table, to calculate the depreciation, and value of the printer. Ok, we are all set to type the SLN function formula in this cell. First, type equal to, S, L. Select SLN from the menu. For cost, click this cell. Type comma. For salvage, click this cell. Type comma. For life, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The SLN function has returned the depreciation amount. It is a fixed amount over the lifespan of the printer. Alright, the next step is to copy this formula down these cells. However, we have to first lock the addresses in this formula, so they will not change, as we copy the formula. Click this cell. Select the addresses. Press F4. Press Enter. OK, let's copy the formula down these cells. We are now all set to find the value of the printer, at the end of each year of its life period. Let's input the value of the printer in this cell, by typing the address of this cell. Type equal to, click this cell, and press enter. In this cell, subtract this amount, from this amount, and press enter. Copy the formula down these cells. This is the salvage value of the printer, at the end of the year of its useful life. To remove the dollar symbol, highlight this range. Click this down arrow. Click number. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.